The University of Canberra held its first research festival on the 19th of October. The festival aimed to demonstrate the range of research being undertaken by the university. It's meant to encourage people to come and uh, look at the type of research we do, especially for our school students, because we think it's very important for school students to be exposed to what research is all about, to what universities do. Stalls showing research from the university's faculties and research centres were on display in the refectory all day. Visitors also had the opportunity to view the project that won the national finals of the Microsoft Imagine Cup earlier this year. That is a, a pro program of research from our undergraduate students in fact in which they have developed a software that allows you to control the movement through a computer by very slight movements of your eyelids and blinking, moving your face um, for people who have um, disabilities and, and cannot, don't have the full range of movements. A Pitch for Funds competition was also held where students presented research findings on a wide range of topics from gender in the boardroom to eastern long neck turtles. We've invited our research students to come along at lunchtime, uh, stand up and present their research in three minutes to a lay audience and uh, we'll have some prizes for the best presentations. The final event of the day was a Q&A entitled Food or Frogs? Does the Murray-Darling Basin have a future? That's bringing all our, our researchers from different uh, disciplines to talk about um, the Murray-Darling Basin and the different uh, tensions in uh, protecting the environment and ensuring we produce enough food for, for um, our community. Sandy Rose, University of Canberra.